This video explains the use of charts. It will explain the pie chart, meter display, dynamic scale, xy plot, bar graph and trend chart. The data in the trend chart comes from the data sampling ID. This example uses four periodic sampling data. Edit the time span and sampling interval of the trend chart. Set chart colors. Set current curve attributes. Set XY-axis coordinate color. If there is a need to change, the Y-axis coordinates, the curve, number address and the maximum and minimum value address can be set. To facilitate debugging, four numerical input components are placed. The corresponding register addresses are shown in the figure. The data source of the XY curve can be register address or data sampling ID. The sample data source here is the data sampling ID. The sampling address corresponding to data sampling is shown in the video. The current refurbish mode can only be timed refresh. The upper and lower limits of the y-axis can be selected as preset data or from registers. Set colors as needed. The source of pie chart data is the set register address and subsequent register addresses. Set pie chart color and text color as needed. Adjust the center size as needed, etc. Modify font styles, etc.
Set spatial register address. The data of the remaining channels will be taken from the subsequent register addresses. There are two types of bar graph, straight and circular. Example is a straight bar type. For specific definitions of setting various numerical values, please refer to the manual. The data source is the register address. For setting various colors, shapes, etc., please refer to the instructions. The source of the meter display is the value of the register address. Set whether various attributes are displayed. Set the proportion of the length of each part relative to the entire component. Set spatial addresses and various styles. Dynamic scale components can also be circular or straight bar type, commonly used in conjunction with bar charts. The value of the control address and the subsequent address determines the maximum and minimum values of the current scale when the preset maximum value is zero. To facilitate debugging, place a numerical input component with the same address as the dynamic scale address. Let's see the effect on the screen. Adjust the values within the component. The display of corresponding icons changes. Thanks for watching.